I just wanted to show you today what the parasite looks like when it comes up under the fingernails and gets stuck. When I use something on my hands, um, like an oil that they don't like, rosemary oil they really don't like, um, or um, if I get peroxide on my hands or I soak my hands in peroxide, this is what will come up underneath the nail sometimes. And even not doing that, just sometimes they'll just come up under the nail and they'll grow out um, full length of the nail. So they don't stay in the same spot, they're growing out with the nail, and then I can just kind of dig them out once they start to grow out. I can try and show you, I've got a couple that are just grown out, I'm not even sure they're still visible, but this is the other thing I want to show you. If I soak my hands in peroxide and I use a rosemary oil or something at the top of my arm and then soak my arm or, or hand in peroxide, they have to go towards the fingertips and then they um, create this white dot, it's more profound on the other hand, let me see if I can um, they're all at the same point because I soaked my arm in the peroxide. I just spray it, let it dry, spray it, let it dry, spray it, let it dry. But I had put rosemary um, and an over-the-counter um, parasite medication up at the top of my arm so they didn't want to go that direction. Um, it was really painful, but what they do is they kind of swirl at the fingertips and cause this um, air or something underneath the nail there. Um, so the, uh, that seems to help keep the load down if I do that. Now um, on the tip of this, let's see which nail is it. This nail right here, you can see there's some black lines as well. Um, I think you can see them right there. They are more parasites growing out. Um, and I've had these for years and I look up online black lines under nail, fingernail, those kind of things and it, and it wouldn't say anything. Um, anywhere that I could look, but now I know that it's part of this parasite that I have called horsehair nemotomorpha. Um, and then the other symptom that I'm having is really coarse hair. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. I'm standing in the shadow because if I get in the light, it, it's too bright. You can't see the the line. Um, you know, I'll probably do that on a different video. But but I have like really coarse hair um, under on the underside of my hair and then on the temples. It's really coarse and wiry and it gets tangled very easily. Um, and then the other par the parasite symptom I haven't shared is also waxy skin and kind of waxy hair. And I think because it's a water parasite, it creates a wax that keeps the moisture under the skin. Um, just really interesting. I, I didn't mention this on my blog or in the videos before because I wasn't sure it was a parasite thing. I just, you know, I mentioned it to my family, but I hadn't mentioned it on online. And two people that have contacted me also shared that they have that waxy skin buildup and you scrub it off in the shower and then a day later it's back. So I'm fully aware now that it is a parasite side effect because these other two people have described it without me ever saying anything and they have all the other symptoms that I have. So that is another side effect, a waxy buildup on skin, and it just kind of feels waxy when you try and, like, you scrape it off and you try and get it off from under your nail or something, it's kind of waxy and watery. So I do think that that is something that the parasite creates to keep the moisture in, um, as well as these other symptoms that I've been sharing with you. They're mostly stuff I haven't put online before about the parasite, but I just wanted to show you that very clear black line underneath the fingernail and that's grown, grown out quite a bit. It was started quite lower in the nail but anyway, just something else I thought I'd share.